Welcome, biologists, to this spec point where we're going to look at variation. This is taken from classification and evolution. Now, we're going to look at the first bit of this spec point, and the second bit here on maths, I'm going to post the videos below in the description. So to start off with, we need to look at the differences between intraspecific variation and interspecific variation. So as you can see, intraspecific variation is variation within a species. So here we have a group of humans, all the same species, but there is variation within the individuals present. Here you can see we have two different species. We've got a human and a dog. And again, we've got variation between species. So intraspecific variation, interspecific variation. Now, we also need to know how to present data and the difference between continuous and discontinuous data. So continuous data, we can either plot as, plot as a line graph, as you can see here on the left hand side, or we can plot as a histogram. Histogram is different from a bar chart because it, it plots the frequency density and you do need to be able to do both of these graphs. You need to be able to plot both of these graphs. Now, it is worth noting that a graph comes up every single year on the exam. And you need to be able to do a uh, draw a graph to make sure that it has a line of or a curve of best fit. To make sure that the axes have axes labels and also units on there. We also need to make sure that we have e e equidistant intervals on our axes and that the points are plotted super super accurately. You only get um, within half a box of leniency. So you do need to be able to practice drawing both these graphs. If you don't know how to do that, it's worth practicing that. Um, so we plot continuous data. It has no distinct categories. So, for example, it can't be, I don't know, for example, blue or black. It's either 20.5 or 20.6. There's no distinct categories. It's determined by several genes. It's polygenetic. It can also be impacted by the environment. Um, and there are intermediate values. For example, the length of your nose could be 2.5 centimetres. It could also be 2.6 centimetres. There are intermediate values. I also have discontinuous data. Now, this is represented using a bar chart. We have distinct categories for this one. So here we have category A, B, C, and D. They're determined by one or a few genes are un and are unaffected by the environment, and there are no intermediate values. So a good one for this one is blood type. So, for example, you can be A, you can be B, you can be AB, but you can't be a mixture of all three of those. Okay, so that's discontinuous data and discontinuous variation. So here's an example of some data. If you want to pause the video and have a go, just thinking of what that, which one that one is. So the answer here is this is discontinuous data because there are distinct categories and there are no intermediate values. It's also represented as a bar chart. Whereas this one here is continuous data and it's uh, intermediate values and it's represented using a line graph. Uh, here we have an example of a exam question. If you want to pause this and have a go. So what we should be doing here in this question is using the information here to identify what variation it is. And it's actually both forms of variation. Now, this is from the old spec, but still the answer given here is still very informative of what we need to know. So here we get marks for mentioning the fact that we've got continuous data that is polygenetic and quantitative, meaning it's numerical data. Um, we have that there's a range of intermediate values and discontinuous only one or a few genes impact on that, little or no environmental impact, discrete categories, which means there are no intermediate values. And then any illustrative point, it's really good to be using data to support your answers here, especially on the new spec. And that's everything that we're going to cover here um, on that first bit. The rest of this I'll post in videos underneath in the description. Guys, good luck with your exams and all the best.